Now Windows is lacking some serious features. Well, I'm not talking about those fancy ones, but at least the most essential ones should be there. And today I'm talking about the internet speed monitor. Now this is one of the basic things. So you can always see uploads and download speeds in your taskbar. Now you might be asking, I can straight up go into Google search for NetSuite monitor and download it. But there is a catch. You can see it is giving me the error operating system is not supported. So what should I do? So today in this video, I will show you the proper method to install your NetSuite monitor. So let's get started. Links are given in the description below for the download link. So simply double clicking the file, you can see I'm getting this error operating system is not supported. So let's see how we can properly install this. In the downloads, I will left click on the NetSpeed monitor file and in the properties you can see in the compatibility tab, run this program in compatibility mode for previous version of Windows. You have to select this, take this option and click on apply and OK. So now double clicking it and now you can normally install this NetSpeed monitor. So there you go accepting the license agreement press next so there you go now our program is installed successfully now let me show you how you can set it up so just uh, searching this program into the start menu you can see i can't able to find the netspeed monitor right over here even if i search for netspeed there is no such a program installed in the system <laughs> this is kind of a confusing but let me show you this is a good software by the way i use it daily so doing little bit of tweaking this software works flawlessly so just go ahead and locate your c disk in the program files locate netspeed monitor and you can see this nsmc application double click on it and click on yes and here you go this is your netspeed monitor so here in the second option, select your network interface. So I'm going to select my PCI network interface over here. And you can set your custom path for the data logging. So all the traffic data will be logged over there and click on save. And that's pretty much it. Now you can see in the taskbar, you can see the uploads and download speeds. And yeah, it is a really handy software. Uh, I think this should have been the inbuilt feature of windows 10 now there are a couple of uh, options over here that you can tweak so in the configurations let me show you you can adjust the units of the data logging so you can set megabits or megabytes uh, similar for kilobit kilobytes and other parameters like that so yeah i'm going to select megabytes per second and yeah that's pretty much uh, the all setup you have to do in order to set up your NetSpeed monitor. Now let me show you uh, by just going on to the YouTube you can see uh, already we are reading some data over here and let me play a video so you can get an idea how this NetSpeed monitor works. So there you go our NetSpeed monitor is working flawlessly. So here in the internet speed test you can see the big dial is showing megabits per second 64 megabits per second equivalence to about 6.8 mbps megabytes per second so yeah our internet speed monitor is working flawlessly now same for the download and upload speeds both are showing in the correct quantities i hope you enjoyed this video a lot Please hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.